Not a sky in the cloud today. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark 3 and 4 away. We got a hill who's always living the dream. Walking away. She's sunscreened up, ready to go. So we're down on the track. It's been a bit since we've been down here. It's a little windy, so I apologize if there's any wind noise. Not really. I don't really care. But uh, we got two cars left. We got the F-150 and the Suzuki. So, um, unfortunately, one of the tires blew off when uh, I think time moved these over we're cleaning them up a little bit but good thing there's four new tires in the box so we're gonna do a quick tire change and then completely roast off the set yeah she looks like she popped off the bead there this thing's a machine I know they're like brand new tires I could sell them or we could completely destroy them because that's the way of the world that's what we do here, because I don't care. Aaron's like, oh, you could give that car to someone. This is Canada, you have to safety everything. So it doesn't matter how sweet it still looks, it's probably gonna cost you five freaking grand to get it back and roadworthy again. So that's why everyone just scraps them and we just destroy them. We're doing one good thing before they get crushed into a block. We're entertaining the world, Hill. That's one way to look at it. Yeah. If I don't kill them, they'll die. <laughs> so anyways, let's uh, change. What am I going to do? I'm going to put that back one. So this one was the one we did the giant burnout with. It's still got pressure in it. It just kind of blew the belt. So I'm going to put this one on the front, then put a fresh one on the back. How's that tire looking on that side, back tire? Good. Any, is there tread? Yeah. I think this one was just a one-wheeler peeler, so... Oh yeah, is she pretty rough? I should probably put some work boots on. Fun fact, I don't get poison ivy. Everyone else does, but not me. Redhead, red hair, don't care. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's no tread left on that. <laughs> no, there, no, there's a little, it's just full of mud. It is full of mud. Yeah, we'll just, so we'll just swap one tire. Custom message for Brad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw some work boots on. We got the jack in the back. I probably should have backed right up to the truck. So, unless you, you think you can carry that thing? No, it's pretty light. Uh, you can then. That? Oh, it's yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna roast the tires off this thing, and then I'm thinking next video we jump the Suzuki. It's jumping time. Ontario whips. Say what? Whips. What how? Cool whip. Say it. Cool. Cool, cool. whip. whip. Say, say cool it whip. together. Cool. <laughs> Look at that platinum, boys. We should jump this thing. Do you imagine we jumped a brand new vehicle? Go full whistling diesel. Why not? They make new ones every day. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I don't know where to put it under, but it's probably all rusty and it's going to go through. Anyone want to buy this truck? After we jump it? <laughs> Gently used. Gently used. <laughs> Pretty sure it's probably going through the floor right now. There's so much freaking rust on this thing. I even think the box is attached. You actually are, you can hear it. <laughs> oh yeah, crack it up. How many tires do you have to change? Uh, just those two. Two? We should have hooked the strap onto it and just tip it right up. <laughs> With my luck, I'd probably freaking blow those other two tires off. Well, you always got the old Suzuki. What did I use for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the worst spot. Oh, here's the old tire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look at my dreads, eh? So, all right, I'm going to put this back down and actually put it into the frame. thought it was doing something good, but... Now the jack's probably stuck in here. Yep. You actually went right through the floor, didn't you? Yep. Attaboy. This, this is the daily struggles we have here. Proud of you. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> Come on! There we go. <laughs> oh, lost the jack, wait. <laughs> yeah. All right. That looks kind of safe-ish, eh? Look at the old plate. <laughs> it's right through. 
Oh man, hopefully this jack doesn't fall off. Probably will. Hell. Hey. Let's see old Hill's mechanic skills here. Oh, you gotta put her in third gear. Third and let her fly. Snap, snap those nuts right off. Where's the button to put it in third? No, you just slide it over. Oh, it was not third. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, just squeeze the damn trigger, Hill. That's not third, that's first. It's, oh, oh, that way. Yeah, see? <laughs> You'll know when it's in third. There you go. Yeah. Get those nuts off. All right, now I gotta pull the, the old jack cap off from underneath. I like smashing windows, but this one won't break. <laughs> You're doing well. You should go work for Canadian Tire. You can quit the Navy, change tires. In the Navy. <laughs> we almost had the I got this off. Uh. This is all about uh, disruption today, aren't you? Beating on it. Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> All right, let's throw a... Oh, we didn't really think this one through, eh? Nope, because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're doing frick. good today. We are doing all right. Classic. What kind of pads we got going on here? Yeah, how are the brake pads? I think he said he'd change the brakes. Did he? Frick. All right, I guess we have to throw a tire underneath that now. Or you can just throw that one back on with one nut. Maybe do that. Just throw a one nutter on there. Well, I'm confused. What's happening? We need this. We need to put this tire in the front. Oh, well, that's what we're doing. Yeah. I thought you were putting the tire in the back here. I'm putting the tire in the back on the back. Wow. Oh, I know. It it's been a long morning. <laughs> I had to send a lot of emails this morning. Uh, everyone on YouTube just shaking their head at us right now. Classic, classic maneuver. Whew. We're getting there. We're back, Hill. Get the hands dirty. You're good at this. You done this before? Nope. Isn't that the handiest impact? That thing parties. All right, we got a brand new tire here. Well, it looks pretty much brand new. 60 volt, it likes to party. I got blown out that tire. Just beat it. <laughs> Oh, drum brakes on her, wow. All right, throw her on there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. This is the first time that I actually did though, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm like, go get work pants, go get them. Totally forgot. Sidetracked. Where'd you put me nuts? Beside the gun. Oh, the old nut thrower you. Just beat it. Mm -hmm. Just beat it. Oh, you might get copyrighted. <laughs> okay. Cross thread. It's a universal Loctite. Oh, yeah. God's Loctite. Should we just put two on? You won't. Good enough? Uh, maybe, maybe not for the back tires. Yeah. <laughs> no, for the front one, sure. Yeah, fronts don't matter, they're just turning. You don't need those. They don't do much anyway. Yeah, good enough, she's torqued. I've seen vehicles on the road with just two tires, so. America. All right, we're getting closer. Now we can put that one on the front. If you want, or we can just run with a flat. Don't matter to me, hell, it's your world, it's my day, figure it out. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> My day's not till Sunday, so. What, is it your birthday? No, it's God's day. Oh. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> You're a fun guy, aren't you? <laughs> it's a mushroom. All right. I've grown recently. <laughs> and we're back in action. Yeah, the whole tread ripped off this, as you can see. 
she gone, but there's plenty of air left there for it to be a front tire. So we got the brand new pre-owned on the back. Now we can roast it. We'll smoke everyone out. Maybe wet some shitties. See if there's time. It's good to go? Be good. I didn't hear a torque. You want me to do one more? Do one. You gotta say click after each one though. Clear. Click. Clear. <laughs> You're actually supposed to say it before you do something stupid. But... Click. All right, let's fire this thing up and uh, see what she's got. She's got a little more life left in her. Think I'll start? I think this one had a pretty good battery. Do you have a key? <laughs> Look at the floor. Oh boy. From where the jack went through. I guess you were right. He could have just <laughs> stepped through. Oh yeah. Man, that's a feature though. That's raised, raised flooring. Yeah, should really help with my uh, stuff, stuff and things. Freaking egg everywhere. Uh oh. Come on, girl. I wonder if when he moved it with the skid steer, the fuel shut off button got hit. I'm gonna say yes. So, I can figure that out. We'll go to the other side here. Enough of you watch these videos now, you should know what the fuel shut off button is on the Fords. If, uh, you know, there's a heavy jolt or you get in an accident, there's a little switch inside, it's a rocker switch. And it just basically shuts off the fuel. In case someone gets all excited and wants to hold it wide open in an accident. So it's usually, on the old cars it was in the trunk. I think that was the Crown Vic. Need some wire. <laughs> on, on most of the vehicles now, it's right under here. Somewhere. A oh, light bulb for you. Keep that. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, no problem. That's exactly what I need. I know. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Kill, I thought you knew what you were doing. Who throws eggs inside a car? <laughs> Man, that is bush. That is built well. <laughs> Quite well. Okay, it's not up there. Tricky. I love how lazy they installed the subwoofer power. I know, right? <laughs> like, how hard is it to go through the firewall? Very hard. Where's this damn switch? Well, the F-150 won't start. I thought it was a fuel pump relay and then the fuel kill switch, but now I'm just thinking it's probably out of gas. It was showing a quarter tank, but those gauges are probably wrong, so we're just gonna jump this thing instead. I have a feeling the battery's dead, so we do have the no kill. No one living in here, that's always a win. That's not the right key. This guy be it. She did. She did. Ah. Oh. Hell. She got day jobs, no office jobs. Be way easier, way cleaner. Office jobs. Life. Office jobs suck. I know. Well, technically, I have an office job. I'm always in the office doing office things. So, but for now, I'm just gonna send it casual. All right, what do we got under here? Where's the battery? There it is. Need a cover? <laughs> this is my daily struggle. It's ridiculous. Just can't win. One day though. One of these days. Maybe this thing will screw up and land on the minivan today. You never really know until you know, right? Sounds like a song. You don't know until you know. Alright. Red, red, black, black. No, the other way around. Is it? Reverse polar that shit. I've done that way too many times. <laughs> One time I did it with my truck too. Ooh. Things got warm. 
probably pretty quick. <laughs> power steering. I agree. Sure. You just gotta go right up. Nice. Excuse me, sir. License registration. I don't have one. Key feature to jump in a car. Don't leave your NOCO inside. Done that a few times. But you usually don't make it. All right. Can we jump this thing? <laughs> what are your predictions? How far? I think it will clear the jump. I think. I think it'll hit like just on the other side of the uh, of the front of the van. You think it's you think it's gonna clear it? Oh, it's landing over there. If it goes straight, probably won't. What is it? What's inside of it? Fast. <laughs> Pretty fast. <laughs> All right, then yeah, it'll clear it. Technically, it's all-wheel drive, but only front wheels work here right now. So one we, front wheel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we accidentally blew a fuse. I mean, we could check the or we pulled a fuse. You know what? We're going to try and find the fuse for the all-wheel drive. I hate when you do stuff. <laughs> Why do you have to be like that, Hill? You're ruining it for everybody! All right. Just you. Let's try and change. <laughs> Put the all-wheel drive on. Oh, look at this guy. Just taking a pee again. Doing his old ritual. What a guy. Come on, let's go! Here we go! Here we go! Yep!
think we'll be jumping this one again. Look at the freaking tire. <laughs> Completely snapped off there. It used to be easy to get the cats. Well, not really. They're way up there. We're going to oh, look at the rim. <laughs> Definitely not jumping that one again. Where do you think it landed? What's that? Where do you think it landed on the rim? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to get up there and get my GoPro. She shouldn't roll away. That looks safe. Holy. That is snapped all the way back there. That's incredible. Wow, come look at this. So the airbags actually went off before it took flight. I was wondering what the bang was. These side airbags went off. Oh, all the airbags went off. They must have hit at the very the lip of that, eh? <laughs> I might need a hand here. Did you just stop and think? Oh, still going. Still going? Ah. You got the strap attached to it, man. That's why you went <laughs> to mathematical school. Good for you. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't opening. Uh -huh. Some idiot attached a strap to it. Is the sunroof broken? Can I just go in there? Nope, not broken. Yeah. Matt is going to fall right on you. Now I have to hold it. Ho, ho, ho. With my head. See, you went to some school. I went to a lot of schools. Everyone thinks I was just an idiot. I was going to say, did everyone just kick you out? No, no one thinks I went to any schools. I went to two film schools. Woo! Nice in here. How many semesters? <laughs> what? <laughs> two years. All right, we got the GoPro. Somewhere. Oh, hey, how are you? Here's the GoPro. Got the beacon. Give you that. The four ways are stuck on. And we got our strap. There's a lot of airbags in this thing. Safety first. See? Oh, and they stay inflated too. Usually airbags freaking. Off. Let's pull that drone down. That buzzing's getting annoying. Oh, my foot's stuck. I'll pull, I'll bring it down. Do you just hit stop? I don't want it to land in the bushes. Look at this hill. You got a highlighter? Yeah, you can you can hold that. Oh, you got the blinker going. That's the four way. Best drone I've ever owned. Obviously, you guys have seen all the drone footage on this channel. Best thing is, it just follows you. You just put the beacon inside. Like, I didn't fly that the whole time. I put the beacon inside, boom, got the shot. So, obviously, we haven't seen the shot yet, but also, the nice thing is, after it uploads right to your phone. So, 4K, anything you want. I think it does about 30 mile an hour, give or take. Half hour battery, and it comes with a remote too if you want to do manual mode, but. Yeah, this was it. Talking about plugging. <laughs> merch plug, bud. Yeah, merch plug. Got a four weight shirt. These aren't even available. You can't even buy these. That was quite the uh, quite the jump. I don't know if you noticed, but Leaking I started something. I started about 15 feet further back than I usually do. But it's kind of sketchy because it takes off and it goes over that big hump. So sometimes it turns. But that went pretty straight till the end. It just turned kind of at the end. So whatever. Overall. I'd say that was a good jump. Hot. Ooh, that was air hot. <laughs> we'll smash it out. This guy's smart like dump truck. <laughs> Look, it's still going. It's burning. Oh, she burned out. That one's still going. Smart like dump truck with GPS navigation. It's not fuel, is it? <laughs> no. This? Yeah. No, it's washer fluid. Oh, okay. Oh, here's a T. You can highlight it. You probably need that. We're going golfing later. Need that tea. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry we couldn't get the F-150 going, but we'll get it going and uh, do something crazy with it. Should we, um, what time is it? Oh, it's only 12.30. Well, tea time's not till 2.15. We need lunch. We do, but I got one more idea. Let's uh, flip this thing over, drag it down with the F-150.
I mean, why not? I don't know if you guys saw the F-150 tow the other time, I think for the minivan jump, but that 3.5 EcoBoost, it loves to party. Let's grab that, tow her out, and we'll go over and grab lunch. Roll, 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 roll. Goodbye. <laughs> Where do you recommend hooking onto this thing, Hill? Front windshield. Front windshield. It's gonna go right through the body. How about right there? Sure, sure. Right there seems good. Good enough. Take the end here. Loop it through here. Call it another day in paradise. It's a hefty right. dewy uh, rope you got there. You're probably gonna want to stand up there for this. Might get interesting. Might get interesting. Where are you gonna aim towards? That way? I'm gonna go around down here. I'm going around the jump to the cars. Okay. Pull the power off, hold it off for 30 seconds, plug her back in, she'll restart. You won't do a backflip. Yeah, because I can do a backflip. Just by looking at that, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I switched in the 4x4 low and tried everything, but as soon as obviously all four starts spinning, it just shuts 4x4 disabled. I didn't know that was an actual thing. I thought it was just a funny joke my parents told me. So, anyways, that was pretty good though. Look how much of freaking the rope went in. <laughs> We're probably not getting that rope off now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We're going to wrap this one up. We get a tea time. We got stuff to do. So thank you guys for watching. Next video, hopefully we have the F-150 going. We're doing some crazy shit. For, but for now, we're out of here. Thank you, everyone. See you later. Whoosh.